Bob particularly chose one version for a reason because that version may be vague, doesn't have the wording clearly. Therefore, we can claim that the Prophet used to cross dress. But when we go to the other hadith in Sunnah Nisai, it clearly states the Prophet said, I was under the blanket of Aisha. I can't receive a lecture from the marshal of the Dawah team about misrepresenting texts when Adnan, Mansour and Hashim have built a career on misrepresenting Christian texts. So there was no other garment under which the revelation came except the garment covering on bed of Aisha. Why does it say would he... bed? Because does does say bed? Under, show me. Make, under, under. Show me where it says under. bed. Okay. Where does okay. it say bed? It, no, in the Arabic language. Does it okay. say bed? And then Adnan said, well, this word could mean any of these things. So in other words, the Muslims are choosing the translation that suits them best. Without, without, without talk, without talk. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. you might talk to me yeah. and I might talk to you, yeah. but I guarantee the moment you're on the rope, everyone else will be jumping and shouting no, no, no. for you. Yeah, okay. ignore, ignore, ignore the intruders. Ignore the intruders. What was the point you were addressing? What's the point from this? To be honest, the guy made the point that I genuinely don't understand. I was simply correcting his narrative of history, which was false. Okay. That's all I was doing. I, I genuinely don't know what he was trying I think to do by what he was I saying. I think he was making a point that there's a prophecy in the Quran. I, no, I'll tell you what he said, and then you can see if you can interpret it. What would look really bad, Adnan, is if you jump into a conversation you didn't hear and then try to interpret it. I agree. So I'm helping you now. So in terms of what he said, what he said was that Moses went to an empire that was the Egyptian empire. They were worshipping false gods. Jesus went to, at the time, the empire, the Roman empire, and they were worshipping false gods. Gods. Muhammad went to Saudi Arabia and the Persian Empire was there. That's kind of as far as we got. Okay. And I genuinely and he started it off by something to do with cross dressing and something to do with the Quran. That, well, that was a late that, that was an earlier point because he said that Muhammad never sinned. Right. Just out of interest, do you believe Muhammad never sinned? Uh, how do you define sin? Uh, as going against God's will. No. We don't believe Muhammad ever deliberately disobeyed God. Okay. Like any other prophet. In 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 Islam. Yeah. Um, he, made, it, he made human errors. Of course. Yes, fair enough. Like Jesus did. Like in, 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 in Islam, is cross-dressing a sin or not? It depends what you mean by cross-dressing. Wearing if, if, a woman's if clothes men, like you're a no, man. No, I mean, if, if women and men, if clothing for women and men is clearly defined like it is today, then it's sin. It's a sin. But if the if the clothing is not clearly defined, for example, if women are wearing one piece of cloth and men are also using the same piece of cloth, then it cannot be seen as cross-dressing. Fair enough. Yeah. So, and, and you would agree with me that if something is defined as a woman's garment, then therefore it has been defined as belonging to a woman. If it's a piece of garment and, no, 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 no. and a woman used to wear it. Whichever garment we're talking about. Yeah. If it is understood yeah. by the speaker and the hearer, and it is so labeled by the speaker. For example, bra. Sorry. I mean, take an example Adnan, today. A bra. A man wouldn't me. wear a bra. Adnan, Adnan, can, yeah. Adnan, can you not interrupt me? Yeah, sure. Because when people interrupt me, all I do is raise I'm my I'm trying voice. to clarify. Yeah, no, no, all I'll do is raise my voice. I, I'd rather talk to you like you request. No, no, I prefer a discussion rather than so a let's have a, a discussion. Yeah. But a discussion means you must not interrupt. I promise I won't go on forever and ever. Okay. Okay? All right, they're having a mini conference, but I'll wait until they're finished and then I'll make my point to have. Right? I, I think he's. I think the brother here has informed him about what point I'm going to try and make. So, um, what 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 happened is it's okay. I can take on a tactic. But what happened is what happened is. Right? So when a, when a speaker, I'm asking you a logical question. If a speaker says to an audience. Uh, with reference to a garment and refers to it as a woman's gar garment, does it match your criteria that it is clearly defined as a woman's garment if it is named and labelled as a woman's garment? A, a very good question. If it's something specifically known to belong to women yes. uh, as a dress code, yes. 100% I agree okay. with you. Like bra. I right. mean, I'll give you an example. I'll, I'll we don't know. Example. Men don't wear bra, right? In our Some men do, but most men do not wear bra, right? Some men who want, to, who want to dress like women, they do, right? 
But most men in our society do not wear bra. So bra is something specifically known for women. Right. Right. A cloth, for example, a cloth is not necessarily something that belongs to women in particular. Right. So if I if, hope you understand my point. I, I get you what you're saying. I get what you're saying, and I think we have enough now to to, to marshal the argument forward. Because what I've heard from you is that if a garment is known and understood to belong to a woman, it is known and understood to be a woman's garment, that therefore it is defined as a woman's garment and should not be worn by a man. Yes. And if you did wear it, it would be a sin, right? Yes. Right, okay, so... Um, no, if you I'll, wore it in public... I'll let, you, yeah. I'll let you make your point. Go on, if you want to... Do you want to make your point? No, my, I have no point. I don't know where you're going. Okay, so... So once I know where you're going with this, then we can make a point. Yeah. Right, yeah. 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 so... Let, let's, let, let, let's just... Um, I'll show you... Don't freeze on me. Right, just before I hold my... Is Abu Talha around? Like, cause, like, yeah, he's Abu Talha around. He's, he, he seems to have taken up a new career in stealing other people's property. <laughs> it would seem. Um, right, so... Um, right, so I'm reading from... I'll give you my source. Yeah, I think this brother's going to give you the same source. Um, I'm reading from Mishkat al-Masabi, Volume 2, Book 26, Fitan, Chapter 38, The Five Qualities of the Prophet's Wives. Now, this is a book, this is, was translated with explanatory notes by Dr. James Robson. Uh, it was published by Mohammed Ashraf Publishers, Booksellers and Explorers. Amazing, Explorer, amazing. I know where you're going. Lahore, now. Pakistan, re uh, uh, and was reprinted in 1990. Page 1361, okay? Uh, and they're taking it from Bukhari and Muslim. I believe this brother's just shown you what I'm going to show you. Is it from Sahih and Bukhari? Is it from Bukhari Well, you, you read what you have. I, I'm asking you a quick question because you've just seen something. Is it from uh, Bukhari? The report I just read is authentic. It I'm is not. authentic. It's, it's authentic. So we're not making it up. Let, let me just read it to you. No, no, is it, is it, is it that, is that the report? Well, we'll discussing? read it and we'll discuss it. No, yes, of course you can okay. read it. But is that the report we're discussing? Uh, we'll, we'll, Revelation coming under a clock. We'll read it. Let's see what it says. Okay. Okay. Are you going to read it in Arabic or English? I'm going to read it in English, of course. A translation? Yes. And I gave you my translator. Who's that? I'll, read, I'll tell you again because you obviously weren't okay. listening. Okay. Um, and, and this conversation will not look good if you don't actually listen. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm listening, yes. Dr. James <laughs> Robson. Right. Okay. Why is that translation any better than others? Well, it, it's certainly trusted in Lahore, Pakistan. I imagine that there are many people in Pakistan that may use this. No. It is reprinted. I am from Pakistan. I've yeah. been to Lahore okay. thousands of times. And I don't see any any reason why Lahore... Are you going to interrupt me all the time? No, 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 no. I'm just correcting you. Do you mind if I continue? No, I, of course, I want to have a decent discussion with okay, you. Okay, then. So, 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 so that we can have a civil discussion. Yeah. Are you sure you're finished, Adnan? Yeah, I'm finished. Are you really finished? No, no, I'm, 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 I'm pointing out that your translation may be a selected, selected translation, maybe hostile. Are you, are maybe you done? Maybe done by a missionary, yes. Are course. you done? Yeah, go on. Okay. Yeah. Okay, right. So, um... I, I, I don't think, just, to, just to, to address the point that you made, I don't think you have any grounds to cast aspersions on this person unless you know them. Okay. And since you do not I've know I've never them, heard of it, so I can't say anything. Can you, can I speak without you interrupting? Oh, that? sorry, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So, to address the point that you made, um, you have no legitimate right to cast aspersions on Dr. James Robson as you have tried to. And I just want to remind you that according to the Islamic deen, you will be punished in the grave for speaking maliciously about people you don't know. So congratulations, you've just earned yourself some punishment the right there. <laughs> so, moving on, moving on. I, I have to be quiet. Right. I have to be silent because he requested right. to be silent. I can't respond to it. You can respond Give me the in your way. turn. Give me the other way. Okay. <laughs> she told... <laughs> Am I alright? Am I alright to continue? Yes. Okay. She told she told that the people used to choose Aisha's day to bring their gifts, seeking thereby to please God's messenger. She said that God's messenger's wives were two parties, one including Aisha Hafsa Safiya and Saouda, and the other including Umm Salama and the rest of God's messenger's wives. Umm Salama's party spoke to her, telling her to ask God's messengers to say to the people, if anyone wishes, um, sorry, if anyone wishes to make a present to God's messenger, let him present it to him wherever he happens to be. She did so and he replied, 
do not annoy me regarding Aisha for inspiration. Uh, for inspiration, then calling Fatima, sent her to God's message. Oh, sorry, I've skipped a line. My apologies. Do not annoy me regarding Aisha for inspiration. Has not come to me when I was in any woman's garments but Aisha's. Now, you said, and, and on this I'll be, finish very quickly, you said that for it to be a sin, it had to be clearly defined to be a woman's garment, right? It is clearly defined by Muhammad as a woman's garment to an audience as a woman's garment. So no one in that immediate time is going to be in any doubt. It's a woman's garment and he is having it on. Okay. Also, there is the fact that Muhammad is to be the best example and he's being annoyed by, I believe, one of his wives, I think. I think that's one of the people that's annoying him. And I, I, I just wonder if, if this is the kind of example that, that, that is so perfect that he never sinned. Anyway, I'll let you speak. So what's your point from this uh, report? Muhammad is a cross-dresser and he sinned. Okay. Now, I am absolutely blown away. I'm completely shocked by the reasoning this gentleman has come up with. This shows his absolute ignorance uh, about Islam. It goes to show how ignorant uh, my friend here is about. You can call I mean, him I can't claim him. I can't claim uh, um, ignorance on his part because of the Arabic language. Of course, he has been humble enough to say he doesn't know the Arabic language. That's why he has to rely on translations. And once we look at the Arabic language, which I happen to know, thankfully, enough, enough to be able to translate classical texts. I will translate this particular hadith word by word so that we can see how ignorant Bob's reasoning was to use this hadith to claim that the Prophet was a cross-dresser. Far from it, the Prophet condemned cross-dressing. The Prophet condemned in clear reports that you cannot look like women. Men cannot look like women and women cannot look like men. This was clearly uh, done by the Prophet. Now, here in this hadith, what is the Prophet saying? The Prophet is saying, and I quote in Arabic, La tu dini. Do not blame me or do not hurt me about Aisha fi Aishata. For in the wahi, for in the wahya. Why? Because verily, revelation lam yatini never came to me. Wa ana fi tho fi tho bimraatin illa Aisha that I was under the covering cloth of my, one of my wives except Aisha. So here, this what is this hadith saying? Let me now summarize the hadith and contextualize it. The Prophet is saying, do not say anything bad about Aisha because she is the only wife under whose covering, bed covering, we're talking about bed covering, when the Prophet and Aisha are under one covering on the bed, okay, in the Arabic language, thawb means simply a cloth, right? A cloth, right? Here, imra'atin means covering of wives. Wives who were sleeping under a covering. I have been under this covering with Aisha and revelation would come upon me. Aisha is the only one who has that privilege. When I have been with other wives under their coverings, I have never received revelation. Only Aisha has this privilege. Now in this hadith, there is no indication that the Prophet ﷺ was actually wearing the clothing of Aisha, which belonged to Aisha. In this hadith, what we get is that the Prophet was under the bed covering okay, with Aisha. Okay, and this is how all may, the scholars of I Islam reply? have explained this report. May I reply? Yes, you may. That okay. makes sense. So, now, I, I, I was listening carefully to his translation and I, I, I don't have any reason to believe that Adnan is a better translator than Dr. James Robson. I have no reason to believe that. No good reason. And we have no way to test, unfortunately. We have an Arab here. One second. We have an Arab here. Yeah. English table now dress notice the interruption again. Table dress is notice. Or covering are you, are you, can, can we not interrupt? No, 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 no. There we go. Did, oh, let, let him continue. Do you remember what continue. I said? Bob, continue. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you could just, just, just try to control your heart. Okay. okay. Just try. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> we have no way to test at all um, that Adnan's translation is any better than Dr. James Robson. We cannot compare the two. We can't bring Dr. James Robson here. So I'm just going to stick with Dr. James Robson's translation. But I hope you notice, and I'd invite everyone to play back Adnan's first speech in this debate. 
how he inserted extra information into the text that was not there. The text doesn't say bed garment, it just says woman's garment. And it doesn't say in a bed, that's not in the text at all. What it says is for Aisha for inspiration, uh, my apologies, Aisha for inspiration has not come to me when I was in any woman's garment but Aisha's. So the, the, the question needs to be asked, why does Muhammad need to have Aisha's garment for this kind of revelation? What, what is he doing under this garment? He knows it's a woman's garment. The text clearly states when I was in any woman's garment, he's inserting extra information. No, it's not a Let him continue. Oh, no, Let no, him continue. Notice. I yeah. want him to continue. Yeah. He has not, he has not, he's inserted this bed, he's inserted this, but I don't see it here in this text. So, um, I, I find that your your reinterpretation of this text. Your reinter. Are you listening, Adnan? Yeah, I'm listening. Are you sure? I'm listening. Reinterpretation okay. of my yeah, text. So yes. the the reinterpretation of this text, the reinterpretation of this text, uh, seems to me a bit of a cop out. What we have in the text is that Muhammad has Aisha's garment, and he is when you he's in any woman's garment, which implies that he might be wearing other women's garments. Okay. All I have to show to Bob that the word in the Arabic language is wives, okay, not women, okay. The garment, the garment of the wives, okay. So, illa Aisha. The wording, which I, I just quoted, is in the Arabic language. I'm sure Bob doesn't know the word for wife in the Arabic language. Do you, Bob? Of course not. No, okay, I do. Okay, how do we know this? I'll quote the Quran in this regard directly to make my point. In the Quran, Surah, uh, Surah Al Lahab. Surah Al Lahab, what number is Surah? Is it? Yeah, what number Surah is that? Surah Al Lahab. No, no, 112 is uh, Surah Ikhlas. Yeah, what number Surah is that? Surah Al Lahab. Okay. So when we go to the Quran, 111. 111. Surah number 111. Anyone who would go and read the translation of that particular surah in any translation around the world, you will see the word there is wife of Abu Lahab. And the wording goes as follows: Tabbat yada Abi Lahabin wa tab ma agna anhu maluhu wa ma kasab sayasla naran zat lahab. Exactly the same word, imra'a, thawb imra'atin, exactly the same word used in the Quran, and the translation is wife of Abu Lahab. Here, the Prophet is talking about the garment of his wives. So there was no other garment under which the revelation came except the garment covering on bed of Aisha. Why would he? Because so it under, show me, under, me, under, under. Show me where it says under. bed. Okay. Where does okay. it say bed? It, no. In the Arabic language, does it okay. say bed? G give me the hadith again. I, I, no. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a finishing. Very straightforward I'm, I'm question. Not, I'm does the word bed appear in the text? No, it doesn't. Thank you. Well, no, 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 let me finish. No, 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 no. appears. Th there are two words I'm stressing on. The reason why I'm saying that your understanding is utterly uh, misplaced and misguided is because you simply don't know the Arabic language and 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 no academic I mean I challenge Bob I challenge Bob any academic translation of this particular hadith if you read it and we will try to find something for him so that he can see now the the wording is very specific the prophet is saying for in the lam yatini that revelation never never came upon me and I have been inside the cloth of a wife, illa Aisha. Okay, when he's saying cloth, he's not saying clothes. Thob in the Arabic language is a very specific word, which means cloth. Cloth and clothes are two different things. Do you all agree? Yeah. Do you yes. all agree? Yeah, yeah. Okay, clothes 
are one all, thing all clothes and are made of cloth. cloth. So, hear the word. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Cloth means, <laughs> cloth means, cloth means any cloth. Any, any cloth. cloth. Does that include any, clothes? Oh, no, no, no. no. It, does, it doesn't. So, it, what does so it, it means any cloth except, except for the cloth that clothes are made of. Can I finish? Yes, of course. You don't like it, though, do you, Adnan? No, no, no. I love it. I love this discussion because it shows that people. I mean, this. this, this. I get your point. Yeah, this was used by David Wood. I can hear your point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was made to look like an yeah. idiot. Not because, really. Because of his, because really. of his, because of his lack of, you know, understanding or deliberate, or deliberate misrepresentation of our text. You will not find a Muslim scholar okay, on the planet. I'm, 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 I'm not finished. I'm not finished. If you can wrap up the point, Bob, I let you finish. Yes. I'm finishing right now. I'm, I'm speaking directly about this topic. Okay, I'm not digressing. I'm <laughs> okay. So here, the report is very clear that the Prophet said, "I was under the cloth of no other wife when revelation came upon me, other than Aisha." So what is the, what is the Prophet talking about now? To be fair with Bob, Bob is a gentleman. I'm pretty sure he's, he's, he's a gentleman. Why don't we do this? Why don't we go to the Muslim scholars and their understanding of the Hadith? Maybe Bob is right. Let's, let's assume Bob is right. Maybe Bob is telling the truth. Maybe we have misunderstood. Are you wrapping up? I'm wrapping up. Please. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to, is this in Bukhari by the way? It's in Bukhari. Sahih Muslim. We will go. We, uh, Can you find that? Right right, yeah, you, you bring that up Before I find it, let me, let me explain what I'm trying to do. No, Adnan, Adnan. Adnan, we're not here for a monologue. Yeah? I get the point that you're making. Allow me to reply and then bring it in in your next point. Okay. Okay. No, Adnan. No, Bob, I'm finishing right now. Right. But finish. Directly relevant. Finish soon. Okay. We go to Kitab. Sorry, guys. Can you not debate? They're slamming. Myself and Bob are talking about this. This is enough. This is a hadith, by the way. In quickly, Abner. Come on. What's the, Bob, what's the rush? Because what's the rush? Bro, because I'm, I'm patient. Because we've we, be, patient, be patient. We 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 know. Uh, no. You're telling me no. you control my heart. You've and interrupted you me heart. multiple times. You've interrupted me multiple times. And we're not here for a monologue. I'm I am being patient. Uh, well, but you can't just keep going and going and going and going. Your point has to end at some point. Okay. Okay. So please. Okay. Okay. Same hadith. You see what we do is we study our hadith literature. Bob has pointed out. Uh, one hadith which allegedly according to Bob's understanding states that the Prophet was actually cross-dressing and he was dressed in Aisha's uh, clothing okay but what we do is to understand our hadith or our reports from the Prophet we study them holistically we go no, to Adnan, we go to this Bob, do you want me to stop I can stop and I can make my yeah. point in the next go yes yeah, stop make your point in the next go okay. right so so Adnan, Adnan was making an argument from the text that he was saying that it was the, the cloth of the bed. But when interrogated, we realize that the word bed never appears in the text. It just says, oh, and I'll agree with his translation, a wife's garment, a wife's garment, a wife's cloth. Now, his argument is, his argument is that the word cloth doesn't mean clothes. But who wears clothes that aren't cloths? To make that kind of argument, he's not arguing from the text. He's arguing into the text. And I can't receive a lecture from the marshal of the Dawah team about misrepresenting texts when Adnan, Mansour and Hashim have built a career on misrepresenting Christian texts. That's right. And you are so... Hey, oh, look, Lamin's interrupted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Don't, don't interrupt him. So, so the point that I'm... So I can't, I can't live by that double let, standard. Let Bob go, I can't live that by that double standard. The text is clear. Yeah? Whether we use Adnan's translation or whether we use Dr. James Robson's translation, it identifies the garment as being feminine and it identifies, as he said, in the garment, under the garment. Now, am I not under my clothes right now? You ever heard that joke? You know, we've all heard that joke under, you, do you know, under all these clothes, I'm naked, under the cloth. So the idea that he's making, he's reading into the texts. Now we know Muhammad did lots of dodgy things. We know that he enjoyed massaging when Aisha was on menstruation or one of his wives was on oh, menstruation. That's the hadith. No, 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 no. We Bob, know. Let Bob say this. We things. know no, no, no. that Muhammad this is Don't had worry about sex it. with a child. We know that Muhammad permitted rape 
or adultery, depending on how you well, want to spin Why would you say these things now? No, no, no. So no, no. Why, should Let why should it surprise us? Why should it surprise us if Muhammad cross-dressed? Okay. And we know that Muhammad used to have one rule for him and another rule for his followers. Muhammad had more than four wives, but tells all of his followers only to have four wives. So why should we be surprised if Muhammad is a cross-dresser whilst commanding other Muslims not to be cross-dressers? Okay, are you done? Yeah. Thank you, Bob. I let Bob say all those unpleasant things about our prophet and all of that because I really wanted Bob to have a chance to prove his case to you so that Bob cannot turn around and say, oh, I was interrupted, I wasn't able to do it. So now that Bob has mentioned all other things, there's a reason why Bob mentioned child marriage and rape and all of that because Bob is actually losing the discussion. He's losing the Not point. Really. He's losing the debate. You know why? Not because really. now we're going to show you something that will People clarify will the picture even mind. further, People even will more. Will it will show how uh, mis... Uh, how can I put it? How uh, deceptive or how disingenuous some of the Christian missionaries are in the park. They deliberately lie. They're not interested in the truth. Why? Now, Hadith literature, okay, we have a plethora of Hadith literature. We have so many collections. And what we do is, when a report comes to us, we go to other collections and find complementary reports to contextualize that particular report. Now, Bob has come up with the report saying that the Prophet said, do not blame me about Aisha because revelation would never come to me under a cloth except the cloth of Aisha. Bob is saying that means the Prophet was actually dressed in Aisha's clothing. I'm saying no, Bob, it doesn't mean that. Bob, what it means is here in another hadith where the Prophet Sallallahu mentions the same thing. And this is again, this is again Sunan al-Nisai, one of the six books of Muslims. Sunan al-Nisai, the report is there. The Messenger of Allah said, sorry guys, this is what contextualizes the whole thing. The Messenger of Allah said, Oh, Umm Salama, Oh, Umm Salama, do not bother me about Aisha. For by Allah, the revelation has never come to me under the blanket of any of you apart from her. Takbir! Abu Snack Bar is a okay. rubbish okay. bar. Okay. Don't okay. go there, they do crap bacon okay. sandwiches. Okay. What the crap okay. bacon sandwiches? Okay, okay. okay. Right. so what, what's your point? No, that's your point. I'm Adam. finishing my point. All right, I'll let you point. speak. Yeah, you do. Mark. Bob, okay, but I let you speak. We're not going to go on for speeches. No, we're not. We're not going. I on get the point you made. Bob, Allow me to reply. Bob, Bob, Bob I'm okay, finishing. I'm, finishing. Can't I'm can't showing how flawed. When you start yeah, crying out Abu Snackbar, that implies to me yeah. okay. that you feel you've made a winning Bob, point, I and that I should be able to reply. Bob, I don't. I know. Finish your point, and then I'll reply. Finish your point. The reason why I want to have a decent discussion because I know in a decent discussion your entire. Uh, you know, your case will be dismantled and you will be made to look like what Finish you are. Point. Okay, Finish that's why point. I have a discussion. Yeah, yeah. When we go to the complementary hadith, yeah. right, which is in Sunan Nisai, Bob particularly chose one version for a reason. Because that version may be vague, doesn't have the wording clearly. Therefore, we can claim that the Prophet used to cross-dress. But when we go to the other hadith in Sunan Nisai, it clearly states the Prophet said, I was under the blanket of Aisha. Blanket is not clothing, is are it? You, and done? the Arabic word there is lihaf. Lihaf. We have a word. Lihaf. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We have a word. We have a word. Yes, yes. Does lihaf mean bedcloth? Okay. Does lihaf mean bedcloth? Okay, okay. Does lihaf mean bedcloth? Okay. Does lihaf mean bedcloth? Wait, we will Google. Adnan, wait, 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 wait. Yes, Bob, Bob, I'm answering. Bob, I'm answering. Let me. Is it? We will Google translate. We don't need a speech. No, no, no. We just no, need no, a yes no, or a no. Bob, Bob. You Bob. said you knew Arabic well enough to Bob. translate. I'm trying to have a civil discussion. I am trying to have a civil discussion. It's my turn. It's my turn. Let me finish. Let me finish, and you can prove me wrong. Yeah, your turn. You've made the Bob, point twice. Bob, you made the same no, no, point no. twice. I'm gonna now translate. Can I reply? I'm gonna Google translate. He doesn't want me to reply. I'm gonna Google translate. Want me to reply. Go to Google translate. Can I I'm gonna wait. Wait. I'm finishing. I'm making my point clear so that people can, so your Christian audience can see so, how how you lie to them. Can we? Can how you misrepresent can, Islam okay. and our prophet to them? Am I allowed to reply? Lehaf. 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 Does it mean bedtime? In Lane's lexicon. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen no 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 wait, another wait, speech wait, 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 bro wait, wait, wait. all right it's just it's just going on and on and on no adnan 
This no, is no, not no, Adnan. This is no, 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 Adnan. No, Adnan, you've made your point. Adnan has made the point. No, you have, you, Adnan. I let him speak. Okay, thank you. Okay, so you speak when you finish. I'll come in. Thank you. Thank you. So Adnan has made the point. He has made the point that in another hadith, yeah, it is made clear that it is talking about a bedcloth. Now, I find this interesting that all these reliable hadiths have within them um, what appear to be contradictory evidence. Because what we have is one hadith that talks about him wearing his wife's garments, no. talks about him and it doesn't mention bed and it doesn't mention bedcloth. And I think, uh, and we're going to wait for the confirmation, I am happy to be corrected if I'm wrong, I'm making an assumption here, that the word lahaf does mean bedcloth. <laughs> so what we have are two accounts of the same event that are different. Now, now, let's be clear, we have that in the Gospels. But Muslim Dawah team come along and they say that these variant accounts of the same event prove that the Gospels are not reliable. And yet we find variants of the same account in the Hadiths and all of a sudden the Dawah team switch face, they turn coat 180 degrees and say no, they are variants but they are reliable because they clarify one another. The text that I am state using states that Muhammad was in his wife's garments. That is cross-dressing. The text that, Ma that had is brought forward clearly states a bed garment. I'm happy to accept that. But now what we have is a situation where the hadiths are contradicting one another. And yet we're all supposed to believe that these are reliable. If only the Dawah team could be consistent with the logic that they use. I want to ask you two questions, Adnan. The word that you I'm quoted. I'm waiting for him to finish so that he cannot yeah, interrupt me. The word that you quoted. Take your time. Please no. Take your time. You are interrupting me right now, actually. Okay, finish. Thank you. And so are as the so are members of the Dawah team. So, the word laha. Agree with me that there's no reference to beds in the text that I am using. And also, would you agree that what I am wearing, what I am under right now, is cloth? So three questions. Okay, I'm going to request that Bob doesn't interrupt me like I didn't interrupt me uh, interrupt him for a long time. I was making a point. Initially, Bob wasn't happy with that. He wanted to come in. I let him come in and he finished now. And now it's my turn. I am simply highlighting the inconsistency and hypocrisy and disingenuousness of the Christian missionaries working in the park. They deliberately come here and lie to people, not only to Muslims, to even their own audiences. They have no respect for the Christians because the way that the tatty job, the ugly and the bad job they do on Islam and Muslims is so, dis I mean, they're disrespecting their own audiences. And how do I know this? This is a classic prime example where Christian missionaries would pick up one report, take it in, in, in solitary and put all their weight behind it. And when they are corrected in the light of other complimentary information, they, they don't want to listen. They, if they were sincere, if Bob was sincere, I'm not saying he's not. I'm, if he was sincere, okay. If he was sincere, I'm not saying he's not sincere. I don't know. If, I'm saying if. If Bob was sincere, he would say, you know what? You have some grounds there to believe that the Prophet was actually under the garment of Aisha, not the other way around, not what Bob is thinking. He's asking me to show me where it says that he was, it was a bed. Okay, it was bedding rather, but he is insisting that he was wearing it. I'm asking him the question, where is the word wearing in Hadith? Arabic language is very rich. We have the word, what is the word for wearing in, in the Arabic language? <laughs> libas, libas. Where is the word libas in the Hadith? So like you're accusing me of imposing a bed onto the Hadith, you are similarly imposing the word wearing on the Prophet Sallallahu that he was actually wearing it. But he's simply saying, Fi thawbim ra'atin illa Aisha. That I was not under anyone's garment except Aisha when Wahi came, came upon me. And then the other hadith in Sunnah al Nisa'i, which is one of our six books in the six authentic collections. Sunnah al Nisa'i, the hadith clearly states that the wording there is lihaf. Instead of thawb, the word is lihaf. And what is lihaf? According to Edward William Lane, one of the best 
ever written and one of the best Arabic English dictionary in history was William Lane, uh, you know, Edward Lane's lexicon. It's called Lane's lexicon. What does he say about lihaf, which is the word we find in Sunan Nisai? The same hadith and the word lihaf is there. It says, he says also, okay, mul, sorry, mil hafatun or lihafun. The Arabs apply their term to a night wrapper. What? What is a night wrapper? Now tell me it is a woman's garment. Okay, can, does anyone want to tell me a night wrapper is a woman's garment or it's a, it's a nighty? Uh, I can imagine Bob coming back and saying, oh, it was actually a nighty. They had nighties then. I can imagine that. Yeah, in desperation, Bob might do that. Okay, but it says night wrapper, which in other words means what? Okay, single piece of stuff, not double, not lined, nor faced, nor stuffed. Okay, it's a night wrapper. In other words, you cover yourselves at night by this cloth and Again, to emphasize the point, Bob, you still have time to maintain your integrity if you have it or your credibility if you have it to turn to the camera and say to the Christian audience, you know what? I'm sorry. I made a mistake. My understanding was flawed. The Muslims don't understand it like that. Maybe we are trying to impose a meaning on a report which is not there, you know, and and the word thob. Can you show me the word thob? Okay, very quickly. I'm finishing right now. Yeah, hands where dictionary of the Arabic language. Hands where is a very, the word thob in the hadith Bob is trying to use. What does the word thob mean? Thob, thiab, athwab, garment, dress, dress cloth, material, garb, outward appearance, guise, cloak, mask, cloak, cloak, Wait, cloak, cloak, yes, cloak. Okay. Mask. Mask. Okay, let me finish. Clothing. Okay, you want to read it? Yeah, yeah, I will, actually. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, so what he says, this is bearing in mind, this is his argument and his evidence. No, it's not my evidence. Right. No, no, no. Saying, Thobe has Wait. many meanings. Right. Many, many, many so, meanings. So, what so, it, so Thobe can so, mean anything. Oh, it can mean anything. Okay, yeah, yeah. In other words, let me finish. He, he could okay. be right or he could be wrong. It's my time. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. It says clothing, Bob, right? Bob, Bob says clothing. Is, there's a reason why Bob is using. Okay, Bob. Can I finish? Just show. Can you show the camera the clothing? I will. I will read it. Yeah, I'll read please. it. I'm, my name is not Bob the Builder. <laughs> no, it isn't. Okay. It Bob isn't. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not a liar. Okay. Uh, I am. Uh, my name is Khan, and I'm not a terrorist. Okay. 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 So, so I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you. So, how many? The point I'm making. Hands where is making a point that. In Arabic language, a word can mean a, different, a number of different things in different circumstances. Bob chooses to use one meaning out of that entire paragraph of meanings. Okay, there is an entire paragraph there, in case the Christians miss this out. Can you see it? Hands where there's a paragraph. Right. Can you zoom in? Zoom in so that they can see it clearly. Wait, I'm not finished. Yeah, but you're going on and on and on. I let you finish. You've made three or four points. Yeah, but I let you finish. Give my points go on forever and ever and ever. I'm finishing right now. This is Soto Films, not the Adnan show. I'm finishing right now. I'm finishing right now. All right, hurry up. Okay, okay. So, Bob. Bob chooses chooses one meaning, one meaning in particular. But we have shown now conclusively, we have shown conclusively that that meaning, the, the one Bob is taking, is not correct. Why? Okay. Because in Sunnah so, Nisai, I'm not, not finished, Bob. Not, no. I'm not finished, Bob. Because you Bob, just go Bob, on, you decent. make a new point. I'm finishing right now. They, I'm finishing right now. But then you go on to make no, another no, point. No, and then I'm, you say you're finished, Bob, and then you go on to make Bob, another Bob, point. Bob, Bob, make your point and finish okay. I would have I would have finished by now I would have go on I'm waiting for him to finish if only he would okay let let everyone see the colors of Bob Bob is showing his colors he's making another point okay. another point like you made about rape and child marriage and all of that are you are you, are you finished so, and other Bible and this and that are you going on okay yeah so so it's, it's clearly desperation not finishing my point we know that Bob's meaning, the one he's taking from the word Thob in that hadith is not correct. Why? Because we we brought another hadith from Sunan and Nisai, which clearly mentioned it was lihaf. It was a bed covering under which the Prophet and Aisha were and the revelation was coming to the Prophet of God under that garment. Now, Bob has no grounds to stand on. If Christians, I know there are many sincere Christians out there Adnan, and, they're making know, another and they're interested in truth. You're making another point. Now, I'm right. going to go up and I'm okay. okay.
Oh, no. Bob, Adnan, Adnan, his Adnan has made his point. He's made a number of points. I'm going to try to address as many as I can remember. Because every time that he said I'm finishing... Oh, he's interrupting. Every time he said he's finishing, he then went on. He's a bit like Paul when he's writing his epistles. He says, and finally, and then goes on for another four chapters. Maybe he's been inspired. So, now I notice... No, I don't need a tissue. Let him finish. So, I notice... So, he, uh, he maligned... Me as a missionary, as if being a missionary is some kind of dirty word. I don't know why you're handing me a tissue. <laughs> In case Are you bringing out the white flag? I, I, I have no. Okay. Not really, bro. Yeah, white notice, flag. notice the, uh, notice the Dawa team are interrupted. Notice, Islam. notice, save the Dawa team are interrupted. Save me, please, save me. Wave to the camera, Saeed. So, Hello. save me, please, save me. So, and, uh, right, so. I, I like the good spirit, Adnan. It, it's better than a lot of people here. So, he made a number of points. Firstly, he says, missionaries like me. Right, firstly, he's earned for himself more punishment in hell because in Muslim circles, calling someone a missionary is malicious. It's a negative term. I am not a missionary. So he has lied about me. And according to Hadith literature, According to according to the science of Hadith, you can't trust a liar, so you can't trust Adnan. No. Secondly, 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 he said, "Oh, you are choosing one particular passage, and then you're making this great big argument out of it." Secondly, can we quit with the music? Thank you. The the, the Dawah team go for every every kind of dirty trick in the book. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. So, well, notice how they're trying to disrupt my flow of argument, yeah, but they please, weren't please doing don't, that with Adnan. Don't, don't. They weren't doing that with Adnan. Let him finish. finish. And yet, where are the bad guys? I don't want him to make And yet, where are the bad guys? Let him finish. Okay, so, then what he went on to do, is he went on to say, notice, he, notice he never addressed any of the three, gar the three questions I asked him. Does the text that I quoted mention anything of a bed? Or of a bed garment? No. It doesn't mention that. It mentions a garment. Am I under cloth right now? Yes, I am. Okay, so the other text that he mentions has a different account to the one that I'm using. They are in conflict. Yes, they can be harmonized. I agree. But so can the contradictions in the Bible. But, the, but Adnan and the Dawa team will point out different accounts in scripture and say that they are pr proof of the unreliability of the gospels but yet in the hadith when we find contradictory accounts they're still reliable now he quoted and i believe if i followed his argument correctly if i followed his argument correctly he was using uh clarifications, translations from the Arabic into English of the second hadith to demonstrate that it clearly meant bedcloth as a way of proving that that clarifies the first account, if I understood the argument. But then when he went through, and I was stood here, I saw it on screen, it talked about a cloak, a mask, and he clearly says clothing. And then Adnan said, well, this word could mean any of these things. So in other words, the Muslims are choosing the translation that suits them best. Adukin. Adukin. Jesus is Lord. Christ the Lord. Jesus is Lord. Christ the Lord. They are choosing the translation that suits them best. And the reason why they are choosing the translation that suits them best is because they are trying to free their prophet from embarrassment of wearing clothes that belong to women. Now, no! Oh, he's not finished yet. He's not finished. He's, he's not gonna finish. I don't have time to stay here all night. Oh. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that he's was going to happen. He's scared I knew that was going to happen. So we're going to have... Please gonna, let him finish. Please let him finish. I, I, I'm going to give you the choice whether to have one more round, which means that I would have the last word, to all that. or I will allow you to have the last word at this point, okay. because I am a gentleman. But I want to point out something. Adnan is someone who likes to characterize his opponents as a liar. The Dawa team consistently lie to Muslim audiences about the Christian faith. People that live in glass houses should not 
throw stones, especially, especially when according to Mohammed, those who engender malicious talk will be punished in the grave. You okay. should listen to the admonishments of okay. your prophet. Bob has spoken for a few we minutes. I let him speak without interrupting him. No problem. He did interrupt. Okay. Uh, I didn't interrupt Bob. Okay. Now, whether Bob is a liar or not, it is up to the audience to decide. I'm not going to decide for the audience. I have clearly in black and white put out the evidence in front of the audience that in Sunan Nisai, the wording is very specific, lihaf, which is a bed covering Bob under which the Prophet uh, and Aisha were when the Prophet was receiving revelation. In the other report, it's not very clear. Tawb can mean a cloth, it can mean a clothing, it can mean a covering, it can mean a piece of cloth for that matter, it can mean a mask, it can mean a number of things. But lihaf can only mean one thing in the Arabic language, which clarifies that the Prophet was talking about bed covering. There is no evidence in this to claim that the Prophet was a cross-dresser. So this is a very desperate Christian attempt or missionary attempt to put the Prophet in bad light. Now, ladies and gentlemen, why is Bob doing it? Bob has made it amply clear again and again that Bob is trying to get the Dawah team back for misrepresenting the Bible. So because, 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 because Dawah team is bad and evil, according to Bob. Did I say I that? will also be evil. Did I say I will, that? Okay, yeah. okay, wait, Did wait I say don't that? interrupt. Don't interrupt. You said a lot of unpleasant things and I was taking them. Okay, so now take them. When they come your way, take them, right? Bob was make, trying to make look uh, the Dawah team uh, disingenuous, liars, uh, deceivers, manipulators. Therefore, I'm going to do the same, you know, because they do it to our Bible, they misrepresent it, they take it out of context. I am going to now tell the Christian audiences, I'm going to lie on the Muslims. I'm going to take one report and try to paint the Prophet as a cross-presser, even though it is very clear in the Islamic literature that there is no indication of that. Far from it. Lihaf is very, very clear. It's a bed covering. So it is very clear that Bob has already admitted that he was deliberately misrepresenting our sources to get back to the Dawah teams. For me, for me to judge me, I don't know who he's talking about when he says Dawah team. Okay, I am Adnan Rashid. I'm an individual. I'm alone, right? You want to go and watch my debates against scholars like James White. I have, I have debates coming this month against Samuel Green, who's a scholar from Australia. I have debated scholars no and none of them, <laughs> none, of them, none of them has ever accused me of <laughs> deliberately misrepresenting Christians. Uh, James I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't James do it. I mean, James, James White, White did. Jim, Dr. Okay. James White did. Okay. And he did it to your face. Okay. He didn't do it behind your back. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not still not finished. Now, ladies and gentlemen, okay, why do Christian missionaries like Bob. When I say missionary, I'm a missionary. I don't mean missionary is something evil or bad. Missionary <laughs> is an activist who is out to spread his, 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 his particular belief. Bob is out to spread the gospel as he sees it. I'm out to spread the truth as I see it. I'm a missionary, right? But Christian missionaries in particular, that definitely is a negative term. You know why? Because, because Christian missionaries, Christian missionaries are known for lying about Islam and Muslims. Oh. Okay, someone's getting very excited. Okay, okay. You're right, bro. Uh, his phone's fine. Thank God. Okay, so so I will thank Bob for his time, his precious time, and uh, and uh, we will continue and talking we should in the debate future again. Uh, definitely, I would it's love to talk to you. It's very enjoyable debating you. Yeah, bro. no problem. Yeah. Well, and all the things, back. all the yeah, other things you coming. mentioned, we can we can discuss them and talk about them and see how honest some Christian activists are. Yeah, yeah, we we, we certainly can. We thank certainly you very can. much. Well, anyway, thank you. Right. Good now, Lamin. Have you got my five hundred quid? <laughs> it was five oh, five still no five hundred quid. He is here. He's no scared. one runs away from that. It's just that I don't want to be involved in the circus that is all discussing that. Attack! Attack! Five minutes! Five hundred! Five minutes! Five hundred! You promise me? Five minutes! Where's my five hundred? Where's my five hundred? Where's my five hundred? Where's my five hundred? Five hundred! 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 Yeah. So, what we've seen is the complete duplicity of uh, Adnan, a leading member of the Dawah team. 
that, that would argue to Christians by taking verses out of context, by misrepresenting verses. Um, that, and then, if someone, as he accuses them, does that to him, suddenly that's bad. He um, maligns people. He uh, uh, insults their character. I mean, he did it with Dr. James, the, the, the guy who translated the text that I was using, and he doesn't even know him. And he was attempting to malign his character. And that's a person that's not even here to defend himself. And, and this, I think, bears fruit of the deen of Islam. Now, that aside, looking at the issue, that aside, looking at the issue, we have the hadith, the hadith that I was quoting, which Adnan admits is not clear, and that the word can be translated as clothing. So he is arguing for a particular translation based upon another text, rather than the text in front of him. Now, why is this a problem? It is a problem because those two accounts do not agree. Those two accounts are different. And when you look at Hadith literature, and, and we didn't really get onto this point, this is maybe something to bring out next time. Hadith literature was invented hundreds of years after the event by people who had no connection to the things that they are describing. And many of these sources are questionable. According to Hadith literature itself, Aisha lied to Muhammad. That means Aisha is not trustworthy. There are inconsistencies in the thought that surrounds Hadith literature. Mom's the secret, she now, it. Now, Hadith, yeah, you should Mom's be so Dean. lucky. You should Mom's be so Dean. lucky. Got him, Mom. Right? He gave him no, some shit. He gave him I'll finish, this sorry. Sorry. I'll finish this rapper. Sorry, mate. Sorry. So, the fact of the matter is, they are relying on Hadith literature, and obviously, we know that Hadith literature was being invented. We know that the Muslims themselves recognized this and had to try and separate what was reliable from unreliable. So when it becomes clear that Muhammad is, has this possibility of wearing a woman's clothes and being a cross-dresser, why would someone no, no, not, no, 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 why no, would no, someone no, no, not no, no, event a hadith to, to save him from this embarrassment? No, 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 no. We know Muhammad did lots of things that are deeply and profoundly questionable according, according to the Sunni literature. According to the Sunni literature, deeply questionable behavior. We know that he set rules for himself that others didn't, that he forbid for other people. He had more than four wives. So why would we not, why, why should we be surprised at the idea that he might wear a woman's garment and it does clearly state wife's garment, woman's garment, so the garment is identified as feminine, belonging to a female. Why would we be surprised that he sets one rule for himself and another rule for an, a, another person? Cross-dressing is a sin according to Islam, but what is considered sin in Islam is something that was invented later by later schools of Islamic thought and are not necessarily representative of Muhammad's own behavior and I think we brought that out and particularly when he was translating the word I saw in the text and I think he showed it to the camera so you've probably seen it yourself it clearly says that it can be translated as a cloak as a mask as a clothing or, or it could be a garment, a, a long garment without seam or stuffing. The Muslims want to choose that translation that suits them best to free their prophet from the suspicion that the text puts upon him. Their text, their literature, not me. I didn't make it up, nor did I make up the translations. You decide. Yes.